Chain rule helps us to differentiate more complex functions called composite functions and what chain rule says suppose y is a function of z and z is a function of x because y depends on z but z depends on x y is indirectly a function of x now you can differentiate y with respect to x in two steps first step is keep your dy by dx will be differentiation of y with respect to z and then differentiation of z with respect to x. So this has to be carried out in two steps. So how is that? The first thing is suppose our example problem. So our y equal to z cube, but z is actually equal to 3x square plus 2. Then in such case, first dy by dx is actually dy by dz into dz by dx. What is dy by dz? d by dz of z cube into d by dx of z which is 3x square plus 2. So d by dz of z cube is 3 z power 3 minus 1 and d by dx of 3x square by 2 is actually some rule actually 3 times x square differentiation 2x power 2 minus 1 plus differentiation of 2 is 0. So it is 3 z square into 6 x power 1 but z is actually equal to 3x square by 2 so this has to be 3 times x square plus 2 into 6x so which is 18x times 3x square plus 2 and so on so this can further be multiplied inside to give you so 54x cube plus 36x so suppose if i give you in one step suppose well, how do we do it suppose our y is cos of x cube usually cos x will be there but here it is cos of x cube so how do you do that so whatever is there inside you keep it as it is consider that as a single one y is equal to cos x cube means dy by dx is actually equal to cos of x is sin x so it is cos of x is minus sin x so it is minus sin of keep x cube as it is and consider x cube as another function and differentiate that so d by dx of x cube so that means minus sin x cube into d by dx of x cube is 3x square so d by i mean if y equal to cos of x cube dy by dx is actually equal to minus 3 x square into sin x cube that is how we execute sin rule in the problems you you want me one more example i think uh, 